Hi, I'm Greg with Rev Robotics, and today we're going to be talking about level shifters. With our new control system featuring the expansion hub, there's a major difference between your old legacy control systems and the new one. And the major difference is 5 volt logic versus 3.3 volt logic. What that means is that a lot of your, your old sensors, your existing products, use 5 volts for all of their sensors. Our new system uses 3.3. We made this decision because 3.3 opens the door to quite a bit of new technology that's come out over the last few years that doesn't operate at 5 volts. In order to make our system backwards compatible with your existing parts, we use a level shifter. The level shifter itself converts the 3.3 volts to 5 volts that you need to power your old sensors and then shifts the logic so that you can talk to the old system. One of the most common uses of the level shifter will be to get the encoders from, from motors of other systems to talk to the expansion hub. If you're using one of the Rev Core hex motors or the HD hex motor, these feature encoders that work at 3.3 or 5 volt logic directly out of the box. If you're using a motor from other FTC legal motors, you'll have to check the spec sheet to know whether they're operating at 3.3 or 5 volts. This is a motor that operates at 5 volts and so we're going to use a level shifter so that you can read this encoder on your expansion hub. All you do is take your existing encoder cable that you used previously, plug it into the motor as you currently would, take this encoder cable and plug it right into the level shifter. Be sure to note the positive, negative A and B channels on the back of the level shifter and align them accordingly. The other end of the level shifter has a 4 pin JST connector that you use the included cable with, and then you can plug that into the corresponding encoder port. Now, in your software, you won't know any difference between using our system and a legacy control system for all of your old encoders. The other common application of the level shifter is to bring in your 5 volt sensors to the new system. So this is an, a 5 volt I2C sensor. The first thing you'll do is you'll use the sensor adapter cable. This converts the pins into the right orientation of the level shifter. If you feel comfortable, you can also adjust your cable directly on the sensor itself. Once you have the adapter cable installed, you line up the cables using the, the notations on the back to make sure the pins are aligned, and then just use the corresponding JST connector to plug it into the proper port. In this case, it's an I2C sensor, so I'll plug it into I2C port 0. If the light on the level shifter is blue, it's working, and you can treat this sensor exactly as you would with previous systems. All the Rev Robotics connectors feature a lock-in connector, but these older style servo connectors don't, so we recommend using a zip tie and wrapping it around your cables around the level shifter to ensure that nothing comes unplugged while on your robot. For more information about which sensors are compatible and which are not, there's a table inside the Expansion Hub Getting Started Guide on our website. To view more documentation or to view more videos like this, please check out our website and our YouTube channel. Thank you.